So it was not planned. Uh, I've always been interested in public change. Uh, and my first experience in public change was when I was the chair, chairman of the BADF and we worked on the integrity of Bengaluru's urban governance issues, solid waste management, water, uh, toilets, roads, and I worked with the city administration in the BDA. Then I uh, worked on the, uh, the Aadhaar project, where for five years I was based in Delhi, and we gave 60 crore Indians residents, or 600 million Indian residents an Aadhaar number. And I felt that India needs a lot of change, and politics is the best lever of change. So in the last I say nine months or so, eight, ten months, uh, I looked at politics actively, and that's when I decided to stand for elections. Well, I'm, I'm ready for uh, politics, and I think India is also ready for a new kind of politician. Somebody who brings experience to the table. I bring my experience in job creation from Infosys. I bring my experience of urban governance from BATM. I give, bring my experience of large, complex project management from Ada. <coughs> so I think people want a problem-solving politician who's not just making grandiose statements, but actually gets an intuition and sorts things out. So I think people are ready for that kind of a politician. India wants people who actually make change happen. Mm -hmm. So I'm confident that I'll be able to perform. So you see, NAP has a big role to play. Mm -hmm. While yes, there is a BBMP city administration. You have the state government. Mm -hmm. You have MPs. I expect to be a champion for Bengaluru in Delhi. Because many things you want to do in Bengaluru are actually related to central issues. For example, <coughs> if you need more money for the metro, mm -hmm. you need to negotiate that with the Ministry of Urban Development or the Japanese uh, Development Aid who go and explore the funding. If you want a commuter rail around Bengaluru, you have to work with the Ministry of Railways. If you want to build a road from Nijipura Junction to Sarjapur, you need a little bit of army land, so you go to the Department of Defense. So there are a lot of connections for cities development in Delhi <coughs> and my goal is to uh, act as the bridge, the ambassador for that. So there's lots of work I make people. Well, in the case of metros in general, uh, it's not so much a technology issue because now metro technology is now common in India. The two big factors typically are finances and land acquisition. You know, you need to say, cut through something, you need to get land. The land acquisition is a local issue. The, the metro has, the metro organization has to do the land acquisition. But funding is often uh, a central issue because a lot of the funding for our metros has come from central government funds. In some cases, it has come from the Japanese aid agency. A lot of the funding for Delhi Metro, for example, came from Japanese aid. So I think on the matter of funding for metros, I can play a role in helping in the negotiations to make sure there's adequate funding. In the case of commuter rail, see commuter rail, all rail in India is done by the uh, Ministry of Railways. Mm -hmm. So any commuter rail project, the uh, Ministry of Railways has to be an intrinsic part of that arrangement. And even if you create an SPV for the commuter rail, they have to be a shareholder mm -hmm. and they have to make it uh, work. So I think that again is a central government thing, so one has to work with the Ministry of Railways. So I think in the case of metro, it's more funding related. In the case of metro, uh, rail, uh, commuter rail, it's more about engaging with railways. Well, e-governance, another part of the, the, my initiatives that I've done. E-governance showed us that city governance can be improved a great deal using technology. So e-governance built a platform, online property tax collection, online building plan approval, website for every city. So it's another example of how technology can be used for improving cities. Of course, it's running in uh, hundreds of cities. No, no, it's entirely her, uh, her creation. She's, uh, I mean, she's no longer with Akshara, but Agyam, she's the chairperson, and it's, as you know, it's the leading NGO on water. She also, till recently, was the chairperson of Pratham Books which has done millions of books for young people. 
the Italian origin. Well, I think certainly corporates should provide political funding mm -hmm. because elections does require money and corporates can definitely work. But it should not be with a quid pro quo. It should not be saying, do this for me. Mm -hmm. uh, it has to be because they want better governance in the country. So I think uh, we should not have the situation where funding is given for favors. <laughs> SEBI was an operation for many years before the SEBI Act was passed. Similarly, there is a body for pensions <coughs> called PFRDA. PFRDA has been under action for many years and the PFRDA bill was only passed last year. So, government can start a project, get something you know, going with full legal authority and subsequently they can create a regulatory architecture for that. I mean, it is already saving the country crores of rupees. I mean, Aadhaar is a very, very important project because it is helping to eliminate ghosts and duplicates from beneficial databases mm -hmm. and it easily will recover its investment in a matter of a uh, few years. So it's a very very high return project. <coughs> you know, I am confident that whichever government comes to power, and I don't know which government is going to power, mm -hmm. wait for the people of India to decide that on day 17, day 16. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think they will support Aadhaar because after 60 crore Aadhaars mm -hmm. and uh, given the fact that it is such a huge tool for social inclusion and such a huge tool for uh, making government efficient and corruption free, I am sure every government will support it. Well, it's been very good. Uh, as you know, I have been on an intensive campaign. Uh, in the last week, I have done about six Padhyatras four to five hours each time, going through different parts of Bengaluru, South, like Kovit Rajnagar, Vijayanagar, Basumpuri, Padmanabhanagar, Jayanagar, Bobanali, and so on. And the only one actually which I have not yet done is BTM, which I will do in the next couple of days. So it's been a very positive experience. There is a huge demand for change. People want a new MP, capable, clean, hardworking, honest, committed. And I think uh, I am very confident that I will win this election with the help of the people of Bengaluru South. Secular, liberal Indian society, which gives opportunity for all people, irrespective of religion, caste, ethnic, ethnicity, language. So, Congress philosophy might be the same. And they gave me the chance of, to do the other project. Mm -hmm. So, I'm very happy with that. No, no, I've entered politics to bring change. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, the question is moot because I'm in this election. Help the people. Team player, whatever government is formed, and if Congress Party is part of that government, they will assign some, whatever role they assign to me is fine. 